with your family. <laughs> You're so beautiful, my baby. Mm. Yeah, for this is Molly. This is my baby. I don't think I ever met her, but she's so beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look super crazy, but I just got my nails done. They're so pretty. I only paid $20 for a fail. Like, if you're a girl, you know, like, that's a good price. It's, like, this new salon in my town, and they're having, like, 20% off. But even then, it was, like, 20-something dollars to get a fail. Like, that's super good price, I feel. I feel. <laughs> and they're, like, super pretty. I love them. And I was in and out in, like, 30 minutes. It was so fast. I got there, like... 10 something and i was out by like 10 30 something it was great i was happy but yeah i'm just gonna take y'all on my daily life today because i don't have anything going on today and yeah so i'll see y'all the next time i'm doing something interesting probably far from now i'm gonna take a nap no i'm just kidding <laughs> kind of <clears throat> Yesterday, I put on lashes for the first time um, underneath my eyeballs. It was great. I don't have them on right now, but I'm just telling y'all. I mean, have you ever tried that? My friend tried it. I mean, my friend does wear them like that, and I was like, I need to try that. So then I did, and they were actually pretty cool. Like, you couldn't see, obviously, that you had lashes on because they were underneath. But it only works for, like, super natural lashes, not dramatic. Like I wear. Anyways, see y'all when I do something interesting. Where's my puppies? Hi, Amelia. Junie. Junie is stuck. <laughs> Junie. Girl. So right now, I'm just gonna wrap some of this. This isn't anything serious. They're just like little things. So like, if my family sees this, it'll be okay. It ain't for nobody special. I mean, they're special. <laughs> they're special. It's not what I meant. But it's like, it's not anything special. Yeah, so story time about my dog that y'all just saw. You know how I was like, oh, Junie's stuck. Well, that girl was really stuck. The, like, net was trapped around her neck. And I don't know how long she was like that. Poor baby. And the other dog was just, like, chilling. Oh, don't play with scissors. I just cut myself. Good thing they're kid scissors. It freaks me out when I do stuff like that because, like, what if I would have stabbed myself for real, for real, and then, like, I'm all here dying by myself. Anyways, I'll just speed this up for you. <laughs> not the best at this. Like, I love wrapping gifts, but I'm not the best. Well, maybe I could be. I just rush it. Because I'm like, they're going to rip it open anyways. So why am I going to sit here and take my time? And they don't even care what it looks like. They're just going to rip it open. Y'all understand? Comment down below if y'all like to wrap presents. favorite part <laughs> yesterday when we were um eating dinner in san antonio this like um homeless guy came up to us and he was um well first like me and brandon were running to the car because we we're just like silly like that you know we were running to the car just to like be silly 
and um, after we had just ate dinner, and this guy was like, run, run, like, and then he was like laughing, and then he was like, happy holidays, and we were like, happy holidays, and like, he like runs to my car. I know, like, some people say like, you shouldn't say hi to them, or, like, I don't know, because it could be dangerous, but my boyfriend always does. So like, he comes to the car, and he's like, he like pulls out his like, veterans, um, I mean like military ID. And he's like, I'm a veteran. And um, he's like, I'm just trying to go to the store called ATV. And he was like, I just need five dollars. Um, he was like, if you want to give me your number, like I can pay you back when I get money. He's like, I just got my first apartment. He's like, praise the Lord. And I was just like, I just really felt for him. Like I feel like God put it on my heart to give him um, money. And so, like, I checked my wallet, and, you know, I didn't have, like, single ones or fives. All I had was, like, 20s, and then, so, um, I was, like, usually I would never, I don't know, I just never give money to homeless people just because, like, I don't know what they're going to do with it. And I know, like, every, like, Brian always says, like, like, you just give and God handles the rest, you know? So, um, I just felt like giving him the 20, which is really crazy because I never do stuff like that. And so Brandon was like, are you sure? And then I was like, yeah. I was like, I think like, I just felt like God told me to, you know, I was in that place at a certain time. Like I was in... How do you say it? Like, I don't know. I was at that restaurant for a reason, you know? And I don't know. I just, it just felt right. And it felt like, you know, I'm blessed enough to, like, have money. Like, and I'm not worrying about, like, what I'm going to eat for dinner and stuff like that. And, like, some people are. And especially around the holidays, it's harder, I feel. And so, I'm just really glad that I gave that if you have, like, an extra five or, like, something and you see somebody, it doesn't have to be a homeless person. It could be someone at the grocery store or something, you know? Or, like, you're at Starbucks and, like, you just got your drink. Like, just pay it forward and, like, get somebody, the people behind you. Or, like, you know what I mean? Or tip the waitress, like, more than you should, more than usual, like. And he was so sweet when I gave it to him. He was just like, you're kidding. And I was like, no, like, I feel like God's telling me to. And he was like, God bless you, God bless you. Like, I don't know, I just felt like it was very genuine. And and that's all I can say, you know, I'll, pray, I'll be praying for him. Like I said, like, I, I usually don't just because I'm still like a child. <laughs> I feel like I don't even have my own money, you know, but... At that certain moment, I did have money, and I just felt like he probably needs it more than I do, you know? Man, that's just, like, really hitting me. I just keep thinking about it. I've been thinking about it since last night. Like, it's just crazy that I would never do that, and God really put it on my heart. These are all the gifts that I've wrapped, and there's some over there. But, yeah. Our tree has been like this for, like, two weeks. Like, <laughs> it's, like, crooked. It's not decorated. No one's even plugged it in. But, yeah. And I still have, like, all these gifts over here to wrap. But I can't show you. But, yeah. This was it so far. All right. So, I decided to fix this dang tree already. So, that's what we're going to do. So, update. I realized that all the lights, where's my finger? Oh, I'm forever using my finger in my videos. Yeah, but look at that. Ooh, look at that new set. Ooh. Anyways, so I realized like the reason that the, the reason that the tree is not finished yet is because of these bottom lights. <laughs> I'm breathing hard because I just ran up the stairs. Because the bottom lights do not work. So that's why, 
we're having a bit of a delay. But I feel like it's never going to get done. We're just going to have a plain tree with the top not even spread out. <laughs> so yeah, this is my Christmas tree. Next time you see it, it'll be all done. So we did end up finishing the tree yesterday. It's so cute now. Now we have decorations. My grandma did most of it. <laughs> then over here we have our nativity set, but we're still setting it up. As you can see, all the stuff's still everywhere. But yeah. I'm literally just laying on my brother's bed, chilling. Look like a chipmunk.